This video will provide a brief introduction to basic matrix manipulations using MATLAB software. If you've never used MATLAB before, when you first open it, you'll see a command window in front of you along with some various other windows. And this command window is the main area for entering commands, and that's what we'll be working with exclusively in this video. So to begin, let's suppose that we have a matrix A, all right? with a first row of 1, 1, 1, a second row of 2, 3, 4, and a second row of 5, 6, 7. Right. So notice how I've entered A. I've enclosed all of the elements in A in square brackets. I've separated elements in each row by spaces and each column by semicolons. So if I execute this command, you can see that the first block here before the first semicolon translated to the first row, second to the second row, and so on. Right. Now we talked a lot about how you can find the reduced row echelon form of a matrix by hand. In MATLAB, you can always find the reduced row echelon form of a matrix using the RREF command. And this can be useful, for example, if you were trying to solve a system of equations that involve the coefficient matrix A. You can also pull off elements from a matrix using the notation row, comma, column. So for example, if I want the element of A in the second row and first column, I would enter A21, giving me this 2 right here. Whereas if I wanted the element in the first row and second column, I would put A1, 2, which would give me this 1 right here. You can, in addition, pull off whole rows or whole columns using a colon. So if I want the whole first column of A, I would put a colon in the row slot followed by an indicator for which column of A I want. Right? And if I would like the whole first row of A instead, right, then I would use a 1 in the first slot followed by a colon in the second slot. Now the other command which I wanted to briefly introduce you is the linsolve command, which allows you to solve linear systems of equations with a coefficient matrix given by A and a right-hand side given by a separate vector B. So. Let's suppose that we wanted to solve a system which had a coefficient matrix of 1, negative 1, 1, 1. So two variables, x and y, these would be the coefficients in the first, and these are the coefficients in the second. Suppose on the other side of that equation, we have 1, 2. So you can imagine by combining this a and b that the first equation would be x minus y equals 1, and x plus y equals 2. Then the Linsolv command has the syntax coefficient matrix comma right hand side of the equation. So in this case, the solution would be 1.5, 0 0.5. Now one word of caution working with LinSolv, if you try and solve a system of equations that has zero or infinitely many solutions, for example, if I went back and changed my coefficient matrix to be something redundant like 1, 1, 1, 1, and repeat the command of linsolve AB. Notice that it gives us a warning. Matrix is singular to working precision and gives a somewhat nonsensical answer. But in these cases where you do have a matrix A that leads to zero or infinite solutions, you can always return to the idea of finding its row reduced echelon form and using that then in turn to solve a system of equations and hence still avoid a lot of messy hand calculations in the process.